What's up guys, you already know what it is, man. My name is Jibby Dimogu, and this is Dimogu View, where I keep it real, keep it 100. Everything that comes out of my mouth is the truth, and nothing but the truth to help me, God. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Now, today I want to talk to you about Famiye. Famiye is a great artist coming from Ghana. Now, why do I want to talk about Famiye? Famiye just granted an interview, I think on YFM, with Eskin, and he said some few Things that I feel like I need to address, all right? You have come for me being kind of crap. And yes, I mean, compu, near me, a Biana Saki, and maybe I'm more. Who say songs of Peter yeah. Yeah. brought for me the same yeah. two, you know, me come and hear them, me beat you crazy, but mm. oh, oh, I was some more. conversation, I mean, hard, oh, yeah. like me, me too hard, but sometimes you want me real hope. Do you, do, do, do you feel Ghanaians are, Ghanaians don't appreciate? The kind of talents we have here. They do appreciate. That's why I'm here. Okay. Appreciation in there. But then what is what is, you know, what is missing? A, what, what do we need to add? They they should just add a little bit of value and support. Okay. So Famille made a statement about how Ghanaians don't really respect um Ghanaian um Ghanaians don't respect Ghanaian musicians, all right? He feels like the same way we look at Nigerians or foreigners and how we respect them is not the same respect that we accord the Ghanaian artists. He feels like he's as talented or even better than Asake, so he doesn't know why Ghanaians will show so much respect and will uphold Asake, but not give him the same credit, you know, when it comes, like not, you know, according the same respect and the same credit. Now, this is my two cents. This is what I want to. I, I this is what I want to say about this issue. Now, one thing that we need to understand is that when it comes to show business, it goes beyond talent, and that's something that Ghanaians don't understand. Majority of us don't understand it. When it comes to show business, it goes beyond talent. Why do I say that? We have so many talented people, but not all of them are able to make it to the top. Why? Due to indiscipline. Most of them are not disciplined, so they are not able to make it to the top. Now, as a talented person, when you are discovered and signed, or maybe you are an independent artist in, in, in their entertainment industry, you have to understand that before people can accord you with respect and uphold you, they have to see you as a superhuman. Yes, they have to see you as a superhuman. They have to look at you and be like, okay, this is Famille, this is Asake, this is Burner Boy. What I see about them or what I see them do, I cannot do it. So right now, the question you have to ask yourself is that, Famille, when I look at you, or when you look at yourself, what do you think you do that I cannot do? As far, let's put the talent away. As far as the talent is, we have so many talented people, but what is it about you that I cannot do? When it comes to the outfits, when it comes to the swag and everything, I can do it if I have the money. But it is how you package yourself and when I say packaging, it is not only about what you wear. It is about the places you go to, the appearances you make, the things you say when you go on radio stations. You see, Ghanaians, a lot of Ghanaian artists make a loose comments. There are so many things that bothers you, but because you are a superstar, People don't want to see you come on, on radio and complain about how Ghanaians don't respect you. The moment you start complaining about that, then they see weakness. They see that you are weak. That's your weakness. They see that, oh, at the end of the day, this guy is not superhuman. This guy is just like somebody, like, just like me. They are not supposed to hear you say that. Every time they hear you talk, they are supposed to see you as someone who does not feel like an ordinary person. But when you talk about, or when you complain about not getting the respect that is due to you, then me as the audience, when I'm watching you, I'll be like, okay, at the end of the day, you are just a human being. Like, you are, you are nobody. Like, 
why are you crying for respect? Because when I see you on TV, you are not supposed to put yourself in, 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 um, in, a, in a vulnerable state. You're not supposed to say anything that will make me see you less. That's why I always command Sakoria. Why do you think Sakoria never comes on air and complain about things? I'm sure that a lot of people have wronged Sakoria. But he chooses not to talk about it. Because he wants you to think that at the end of the day, no one can undermine him or disrespect him. But, at the, at the, at, at, but let me tell you, he's, he's a human being. And I'm sure there are a lot of people in the industry who have dis, disrespected Sakuri. But he has chosen not to talk about it. Because he doesn't want the public to see him in that vulnerable state. So for you to come on radio station and complain about not getting the same respect or the same credit as Asake. That means you are actually crying to be like Asake. You are, you, you are crying for people to see you as someone that who, whom you are in the same industry with. So at the end of the day, the person that you feel you are on the same level with, or even more than, you are spending your time talking, that, talking about that person on radio station. So how do you think people will see you now? They will say, like, oh, that's the guy who thinks he's better than us, okay? That's the guy, that's how people will see you. That's a weakness. Don't do that. Ghanaian artists, don't be doing that. You guys should be copying from someone like Sakodie. People revere Sakodie. People respect Sakodie. People uphold Sakodie. He's like the, 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 the epitome of, of a, a star in Ghana. That's who everybody wants to be like because of how he carries himself. Sakodie is not going to come out there and cry about you not giving him respect. He wants you to see him as someone who is untouchable. So for me, the problem with most of you Ghanaian artists is that there's, not, there's, there's nothing special about you besides your talent. But like I said, show business goes beyond talent. There's got to be some sort of aura around you. When people see you, they have to feel your presence. When people see you, they have to feel like they've seen a superhuman. But if I see you and I see you as an ordinary person, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to be surprised. If I keep seeing you at the mall, if I keep seeing you at the club, and you are not even um, sitting in a VIP, do you think I'm going to see, I'm, I'm going to give you that respect? I can't. Because I'm in a, I'm in a VIP popping bottles. You are not in a VIP. So how do, you, how do you expect me to respect you as a star if you cannot even be in a VIP popping bottles as I am? So... That's why most artists don't even go out unless they are paid to be out. Unless they are given, uh, what do you call it, a VIP treatment. So it is about how you position yourself, the things you say when you go on radio. People pay a lot of money for, for them to be coached on what to say when they go on radio. Now let me explain something to you. Famia, you are a great artist. You have a new song out, Charlie. Famia has a new song out, right? You guys need to go check it out. It's a banger. Yes, but let me explain something to you. The reason you can't compare yourself to Asake is because of how you package yourself. Let me give you an analogy. You two may be, let me say you guys are both Mercedes, right? Mercedes. The same specs. The same special like both of y'all special edition now if you are selling your if you are selling your brand in the ghetto you cannot compare yourself to someone who is selling his brand in the suburb where the rich people live you guys are the same the same value but depending on who you are selling it to will determine the price that people will be willing to offer so basically what I'm saying is that the investment and the places, the platforms, brand positioning, where Asake is putting himself, 
You are not doing the same thing. I'm sure it would. When you make money, I'm sure you probably invested it in a different business because you feel like, you know, the, the, music, the music money will not always be here. So I'm sure you are investing it elsewhere. Now, Aseke may belong to a label or maybe if he's even investing in himself, uh, he's probably putting a lot of money into his, his craft. But one thing about Ghanaian artists is that you guys don't put money into your craft that much. You are, you are always thinking about, why should, I, why should I shoot that video? Why should I put so much money in my... But why do you expect to get the same results that Aseke or some other Nigerian artists are investing? Like, they are investing a lot of money, and they are getting the results that they are seeking for. So why do you want to get the same results, but you don't invest the same amount of money? Please, if we want to do this business, this entertainment business, we have to understand it, that it goes beyond talent. You on the radio station saying that you feel you are this, you, you have the same talent or even better than Asake. That's not all. Like you, there's more to it. When it comes to the work, not just recording, but when it comes to marketing, are you marketing yourself just like Asake? And like I said, let me say one more thing. One thing is that Ghanaians, there's a difference between marketing and advertisement. So when you advertise something, you are telling a story about something, right? When you market something, you are trying to sell that thing to someone. So Ghanaians do a lot of advertisement, which is telling the story. But when it comes to marketing the product, that's the problem. That is the problem. So we know we have the talent. And we know how to tell our stories. We know how to write the songs. We know how to, you know, put it out there and all that. But are we positioning it well? Are we marketing it well to the people for them to listen? I don't think so. I don't think we are putting in the same amount of money when it comes to, um, when it comes to Nigerians. They, they do far more than us. They do far more. Yeah, they may have more investors. So you should understand that you don't have an investor. So don't compare yourself to Asake. Yes, your talent may be the same as his, but when it comes to show business, like I said, it goes beyond talent. My name is JB Dimogo. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Have a wonderful day. Peace.